We are going to be training butt and hamstrings. So we will need a couple sets of weights, uh, barbells if you have it. Later on we'll need a mat um, and a stability ball and maybe something to lean up against. So maybe like a chair or a table or a wall. Uh, so we're going to get right to it and we're starting with curtsy lunge. So I hope you're warmed up. Now if you're just starting out, you don't have to hold weights. If you're more advanced, please pick up some kind of, uh, could be kettlebells or dumbbells. And so we're going to be alternating. So if you're facing me right now, we're going to curtsy lunge down. So almost like you're bowing, curtsy. And then switch legs so we're alternating. So you're bending that knee and sinking down so your glutes, your butt, sits back into your heels. All right, so we have 40 of these. Sitting back nice and deep. Good. Try to keep your knee in line with your ankle. So as I come down into that lunge, my knee is right in line with my ankle, like that. And switch. Good. So that's 10. I'm going to add some weight. And again, you can hold on to a wall, table, or chair for a little bit of balance. So we're gonna step back and down. These are one of the best lunges to hit the glutes. Breathe. Try and keep your shoulders back. Good, and we have 20 more. So two more sets of 10. We had a nice sunny day today, blue skies, it was beautiful. I hear it's been hot for many around the world. We're just getting some nice warm weather now. And it's almost August. All right, we have one more set of 10. If you need a moment, if you need to break, you can pause the video. And if you're ready, let's go for 10. All the way down. Breathe. Getting that back knee all the way down. Five more. Five. Four. Three, two, last one. Good job. All right. So we're going to keep one weight. We have step ups next. And so you can go to a spot. So if you have a bench uh, or a chair. All right. Or a step. So we're going to step up and down. We're going to go 40 times on each leg. Step up and down, and down. Good, so if you wanna hold on to something for stability, again, you can lean up against the wall. Good. So that's 10, we have 30 more. already halfway on this side so we have 20 left 20 are you holding a weight feeling that burn in your glutes I hope I am we have 10 more now we're going to switch sides. Nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, last one. Awesome. 
Awesome job. We're going to switch sides, everybody. So switching legs, switching so your hand weight is in the same hand as the leg that's stepping up. All right. So I'm going to go here, step it up. And we have 40 on the opposite leg now. you're feeling this in your quads as well which is good lots of birds in the sky ten more ten jog on the spot. Next we're going into single leg deadlifts. These are great for your butt, great for your hamstrings. You can use a dumbbell, you can use an Orin band, kettlebell, whichever you prefer. Now, before I pick up my weight, personally, I find it's helpful to have something to lean on. So whether it's a chair, table, wall, uh, whatever you like, So just like this, and then the movement is, I'm going to sneeze, don't sneeze. So the movement is I'm holding on to the chair, table, or wall, and so I'm standing on my right leg, my dumbbell or Orin band is in my right hand, so I'm going to lean forward, hinging at the hip, keep my back straight. My leg is somewhat straight as well, it's like a stiff leg and you're going to feel that pull through your hamstring and your bum so keep the weight nice and close to your shins and then you're going to stand up and then you're going to bend again really important to keep your back straight now if you're just starting out if you're just a beginner you can even try this movement without any weight so you're going to stand hold your left hand on a chair table or wall stand on your right leg Keep your back straight, you're a superhero. Now you hinge at the hip. Everything is somewhat stiff and straight. And as you bend, you're gonna feel that stretch right here. You feel that? So start even without weight, just to get that movement down, feel where you should be feeling it. Mind to muscle, so focus on that spot back here. All right, so we're going to be 40 on each side. And we're going to begin here. All right, so I'm standing on my right leg. Left leg is going to kick back. Good, and come up. Now, some people do it without leaning on something, which is great. But I feel my range of motion and my form is much better if I have something to help balance me. So see how you feel. Feel 
feeling that pull? So we have 10 there, we need 30 more on this side, and then we're going to switch. All the way down, 10. Keeping that back straight. You might even feel this in your lower back, which is perfectly fine. It's working all of your posterior muscles. Good, we have 20 more on this side. Inhale, exhale. Break for a second, break. And again, at any time you can go ahead and add in some cardio, get your calorie burn up, get your intensity up, jumping jacks, skipping. All right, are we ready to switch to the other side? All right, so I'm gonna move my chair over. We're gonna do that same thing on this side now. I'm standing on my left leg and I'm holding my weight in my left hand. And we can begin. Breathe. Very good to strengthen your hamstring. So this part of your leg, it's one of the most often injured muscle groups. Um, so really good to strengthen them. These are one of the best exercises. So you've got your deadlift, single leg deadlifts. Helps to get stronger, helps to prevent injury. One of the biggest reasons to strength train is to build strength and to prevent injury. So important. We are halfway, we have 20 more that back straight for 20. Breathe. If you're not feeling that pull, you might not be getting a deep enough or low enough, so you can try and get a little bit deeper on that deadlift down, 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 down. And up. We are at our last set of 10. Here we go for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. four. Almost there. Three. Two. One more, one more. Good job. All right, set your weight down. Move that chair for a moment. Back here. Add in some cardio if you like. High knees, jumping jacks, mountain climbers, jump lunge. want to get that heart rate up. We want to get you huffing and puffing, building your endurance, strengthening your heart and your lungs. Okay, next we're going into standing kickbacks. Most often we do this kneeling. I wanted to show an alternative that you can do these standing. Oftentimes I do these when I'm washing dishes, when I'm doing laundry, when I'm pumping gas. You can literally do them everywhere. If you want to kick it up a notch, grab an ankle weight, place it on your right ankle. Again, I like to lean against something, so a wall, table, or chair. 
and I'm going to start with my right leg and we're going to kick it back. My watch is congratulating me on my steps. <laughs> I think I just hit 20,000. Are you tracking your steps? How many you get each day? Squeeze. So we recommend a minimum of 10,000 every day. Squeeze. Most days I get between 25 and 30,000. Keep going. We're already at our last set of ten. Ready? Here we go. For ten, nine, eight. So we're already halfway. We have 20 more. Lift and squeeze. chair to the side. All right, we're going into squats next. So we have, again, you can add in some cardio if you want. Cardio. Go, go, go. Nice job, nice job. All right, so next we're going to add, get into squats. So it's a wide stance squat because when you're targeting your booty, your glutes, your peach, your butt. You want to do a nice wide stance. So you can turn your toes out a bit. And if you're doing it without weight, you're going to sink down, 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 till about there. So you want to get your bum nice and parallel with the floor. And then press up through your heels and squeeze your cheeks at the top. All the way down. Good. And squeeze at the top. I will show you from the side. All right, so feet are wide wider than hip width. Sit back in your heels, knees are behind your toes, bum is nice and deep, nice and low. And then press up and squeeze. All right, let's do it again. Come on. Squeeze. And squeeze. Show me how low you can go all the way down and up. All right, so now if you're able, grab some weight or one weight or a barbell Feet are wide. Ugh. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Breathe. Woo. Picture you're burning 
off those calories. You're burning calories. You're, you're, you're going to lose fat. You're going to get stronger. Every single rep brings you closer to your goal. Don't forget that. We have two more sets of 10. So if you want to add some weight, remember when we challenge ourselves, that equals change. Here we go for 10 and up. You can set them down. We have one more set of 10. But right now, let's do some cardio. Come on, go. Get that heart rate up. Go, go, go. Go. All right, good. We have one more set of 10 squats. Remember, it's a nice wide stance. Woo. All right, let's do this. For 10, 9, get a little bit deeper, 8, 7, 6, 5, push, 4, how bad do you want it, 3, 2, one more, good job, set them down. Now, if you have your stability ball and your yoga mat, please grab them now. Bring it over. All right. So we're gonna lay on our, our mat. We're doing hamstring curls. Now you'll be shocked if you've done our workouts. You know I don't very often do only 40 of these. So we're only doing 40, which means everybody can do this. You're going to hold on to the side of your mat. You're going to place your heels on your stability ball and lift your bum. Now you're going to roll it in and out. In and out. This exercise works through your hamstrings and your calves. In and out. Try for at least 10 at a time. If you need to break, go ahead and break for a moment. Do 10 again, etc. Eventually you won't need to break because you get so strong. Keep your bum up off the mat. We're halfway. We have 20 more. If you absolutely need to pause, you can pause the workout. We're already on our last set of 10. Just push. 10, 9, Eight, it's burning. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, set your ball to the side. While we're here, we're going to do hip thrusts. So again, if you have a dumbbell, I'm using a 20 pound dumbbell. If you have a setup for hip thrusts, please do those. Four sets of 10. I am placing this dumbbell on my waist. It's 20 pounds. We're gonna lift up, squeeze your bum, and lower. Up and lower. So we have 40. 40 is the number tonight. Lift, squeeze. That's 10. We have 30 more. Try not to leave your bum down for too long. Just put a little pulse. Up, down, up, and down. Good. Feel the burn in your glutes. All right. Breathe. We have 20 more. 20.
to the 10. For 10 and squeeze, lift up and squeeze. You got it, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, last one, and good. All right, set this to the side. Good, and we have box jumps. Set your mat to the side. Okay, so if you have a bench or a step, like even if it's just a stair in your row of stairs, you can use that. And if you're comfortable, we're gonna try jumping up and then walk down. Jump up, walk down, good, up, good. Walk down, try and keep your knees slightly bent, right, just like that, and then step down. Good, step down. If you struggle with the jump, do a walk up. Step it up, just like this, and you can even alternate your feet. So step down, alternate your feet. All right, you ready? Go. So if you're jumping or if you're walking, whatever you're doing, you're moving your body. Good. Move your body. and bend those knees. Good, break. Again, if you need a drink at any time, please grab a drink. We have 30 more. Woo! Ready for 10? 10, walk down. Bend your knees. Two more sets of 10, box jump. Another thing you can do is jump squats. So if you're struggling or if you don't have stairs or if you don't have a step, you can do a basic jump squat. I'll show you those as well. For 10, here we go. Down and jump, 10. Bend your knees. Try and get your feet right up off the floor for five. Four, come on, you can do it. Three, two, one. Feeling that burn? <laughs> Me too. Catch your breath. Good job. We have 10 more. All right, here we go. 10, nine, come on, eight, choice Bulgarian split squats or stationary lunge stationary lunge I would say is more of a starter and then Bulgarian split squat more advanced I'll show you both so let's do this side I'll show you stationary the other side I'll show you Bulgarian so we're gonna step one foot out one foot back we're gonna bend our knees make sure your knee is behind your toe in line with your ankle shoulders back. You can hold on to a wall table or chair if you need to. We're going to go up and down 40 times. Up and down. Try and get a little bit deeper. Mind to muscle right here. Focus on your glutes. Get a little bit deeper. We're at 20. You want to break for a moment? We can break. We have 20 left on this side and then we'll switch. Here we go, ready? 20, 19. In 10, nine, there's my ball. 
seven, six, five, hold it, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Awesome job. Okay, so we're gonna do the split squats on the other side. I'm gonna show you an alternative, okay? Catch your breath. Where am I gonna do these? I guess right here. So, stepping back, we're switching legs. So, I'm gonna, the one that's hurting, that leg is going to step back. Your opposite leg is going to be forward. If you have a step, stair, bench that you wanna put your foot up on, you can. And make sure this knee is behind your toe, shoulders back. So now you have a, your foot is up on a step. It's a little bit higher. Try and get all the way down. That's it. Now, if this is too challenging yet, feel free to go back to the stationary lunge. You get to choose. So we're here. We have 30 more. Twenty. Keep going. Mind to muscle, this glute. Ten. Nine. A little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ow! Amazing job. All right, you've completed one full round of our glute workout, our button hamstrings. Please go back to the top and repeat that whole circuit one more time. Then make sure to stretch and we will see you back here next time. Give yourselves a hand everybody, great job.